So we've got this new Alien film, Alien Romulus, coming out, being directed by fabulous director Fede Alvarez. I'll admit, not much excitement for it. You guys know over the past year, whenever it's come up, I've been like, eh, eh, whatever. And then they drop that first trailer. And that first trailer is just, here's the texture of what this movie's going to be like. And it felt like the horror of that original Alien film. And I'm not going to say that that first trailer that we saw last week took me from being completely disinterested to being now, this is one of my most anticipated movies of the year. Didn't do that, but it certainly ramped up my interest in it. I, I am now quite interested in this film. Well, what's going to catch a lot of people's awareness as well is in this age of CGI that we live in, the miracle age of CGI, because the stuff they can do with CGI today is incredible. But Fede Alvarez is really passionate about practical effects. And he's talked a lot about wanting to recapture what they had in those original Alien films, but he's taking it to the next level of saying doing almost every creature and set practical effects and even bringing in the original creature makers from the original Alien. This comes from the folks over at MovieWeb who wrote the following. Fede Alvarez's uh, passion for practical effects extends beyond just the creatures. I have this obsession with no green screen. So we built every creature and set, Alvarez said. Everything had to be built, so we were really living and breathing in these spaces. While he acknowledges the value of CGI in certain situations, Alvarez emphasizes that for face-to-face -face encounters and moments with creatures, nothing beats the real thing. He goes on and is quoted in this, saying, For the creatures, we brought in all the guys from Aliens, one of the greatest action films of all time. They were in their early 20s when they made Aliens, and they were a part of Stan Winston's special effects team. And now we had them at the top of their game. They have their own shops, and we brought them all together to work on all the creatures because we went with all animatronics and puppets at every level. I even got the chance to be under the table with them puppeteering all these animatronics. All right, now look. I, I've said before... Most of the time today with the type of environments and wonder and, and crazy things you want to do, CG is the best answer. Mm -hmm. You know, could you imagine how dumb Thanos would have looked in a guy in a big purple bodysuit if they had <laughs> dressed up Josh that way to walk around like that? It would have been ridiculous. But when you're talking about the aliens, the xenomorphs, you're talking about, for the most part, expressionless a lot of straight lines in the design, right? Not not your tr traditional eyes with expressive eyes and moving eyebrows and all that kind of stuff. Like the most thing you really got to do is the snarl, mm -hmm. right? Get that mm -hmm. snarl. And when you look back at that original Aliens, like when you got Sigourney Weaver and like an alien come like right up to her face, like, and she can, she as the actress is actually in that environment, actually interacting with the monster itself. There are definite advantages to that. And while I don't think it's necessarily important that they have some commitment to all practical sets and creatures, in a movie like this, because one of the other things about Alien and Aliens, they're claustrophobic. Right. Like You always feel the tight spaces. You always feel like you're in this narrow box with these killing machines. And in something like this, I think Fede is right. There's some real big advantages that them doing it this way. And, you know, it's kind of the trendy thing now to say you want practical effects. So I think this is going to make a lot of people happy. Anyway, Chris, you hear about this. What do you think about his commitment to making practical monsters, practical sets? And what do you think about them going actually back and getting the guys from Aliens to do these designs? How do you oh, see it? I love this. I do want to know if they're updating their methods, though, because to right. make the, the ovomorph, right, the eggs for the xenomorphs, they used call fat. That's that fat netting that protects animals' internal organs, and they draped that all over these eggs and stuff. That had to be a grotesque set. Mm. But I love a practical effect. I think it makes the audience feel more immersed, and I think it makes your actors believe the world they're into. Yeah, exactly. You know, Ian McKellen famously had uh, this breakdown on the set of The Hobbit because everything had become green screen and tennis balls. Mm. And, and an actor of that caliber was struggling to connect in his scene work. I think having practical is always a great idea. It just, it really immerses you in that world. And it makes me immediately think of, I know you're not the biggest fan of the Disney parks, but before it was, you know, Stitch's Great Escape back Fuck in Disney, Disney World. <clears throat> that Sorry. is the view of one person. Everyone else here loves it. Invite <laughs> us. Back at Disney World, they had this thing called 
the like extraterrestrial alien encounter hmm. and it was so terrifying i would go on it every time i went to disney and i'd cry and have a complete mental breakdown wait at like disney world at disney world okay yeah and not disneyland. They didn't you would that. go in and it was supposed to be just this sweet little alien um kind of show that they were doing but instead the xenomorphs get in and they're running around on scaffolding above you you hear someone get eaten and blood which is just water like falls on you what? you feel the alien breathing on the back of your neck it was so weird to have at disney oh, it was wow. terrifying but because of all of those little practical things you rarely saw the alien you just experienced those sensory moments it was so effective and that's what these films do so well I, I have to say too, I know you guys hate that I haven't seen Aliens. I've only seen Alien and Prometheus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me but, too. But, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. come on, see, oh, you're not weird. God, watch it. Who called you weird? It's We're like here. one of the greatest movies ever. I need weird. to see it, I need to you're see it. You're not weird. It. Thanks, bud. But the, the thing that's so effective in that first Alien is those tense moments of having, you know, the xenomorph face just come out a little bit or seeing a grate open, hearing the steps around there. It's the same thing that makes the alien encounter video game so terrifying. Oh yeah. Cause that one too, it picks up on your senses if you play it in that mode. So if you're too loud or you breathe too loud, the xenomorph finds you. So if we can ingratiate <laughs> the audience like that through practicality, I think it's a really smart move. It'd probably bring out the best in the actors too. Just Absolutely. Like, like, instead of having a stick that says clown on it, you actually bring in yeah. a real clown you're going to get a different reaction. I don't care how good of an actor you are. If it's up in your face, I think you get a more real, more real, uh, you know, reaction to what, what they're putting in front of them. So. Yeah, I remember mm -hmm. I was on set of the first Transformers movie during the big downtown big battle sequence in the third act. And it was so funny because what you have these guys in these gray full body suits running around with these giant poles with like, big white foam balls on the top, like 15, 20 foot high poles with these white foam balls. And those are supposed to be Autobots and Decepticons. Yeah. And like the second unit director is like trying to direct the people on the streets. Like, okay, now you're seeing this big gray mo monster robot doing this and go, ah, but they're really just looking at a big white styrofoam ball. Yeah. yeah. Obviously you couldn't have like, done that in practical. Do you ever see Backdraft? That movie Backdraft? Oh, it's one of, of my favorite. Of course. Ron they're they're going to use real Love fire, it. right? You want, you want them to feel the effects of this this terror you'll eat all that kind of stuff yeah. by the way to the point it's interesting to me because for a long time especially after shane black's predator movie which i was so excited about and ended up being very disappointing <laughs> i think both the alien and the predator franchises were dead like i i just thought i had no interest in any of them anymore they're both dead then comes prey and Prey revitalized my excitement for the, the Predator IP again, right? I, I think it's the best Predator movie we had since the original. It was really, really good and I got excited about it. Okay, but Alien is still dead. I, I got to admit, I'm starting to get some of my enthusiasm back. You know, seeing that first trailer and, and hearing Fede talk so passionately about it. I mean, who, maybe it'll be bad, maybe, but we'll find out. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Miracle Made. Did you know that your temperature at night can have one of the greatest impacts on your sleep quality? If you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Inspired by NASA, Miracle Made uses silver infused fabrics and makes temperature regulating bedding so that you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. When they arrived at our house, my wife Anne loved the feel them so much, she couldn't even wait for me to get home to put them on our bed. Miracle Made has self-cleaning. These sheets are infused with silver that prevents up to 99.7 of bacterial growth leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. Miracle Sheets also have incredible comfort and quality. Miracle Sheets are luxuriously comfortable without the high price tag of other luxury brands and feel as nice, if not nicer, than sheets used by some five-star hotels. So go to TryMiracle, that's T-R-Y-M-I-R-A-C-L-E dot com slash Campia to try Miracle Made Sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40% and if you use our promo code CAMPIA at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you will get a full refund. So upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash CAMPIA and use the code CAMPIA to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash CAMPIA to treat yourself. Anyway, guys, question is for you. 
What do you think about Director Fede Alvarez's comments here about building practical sets, practical puppets to be used as the aliens, all that kind of stuff? Do you think maybe that might lead us to some points in the movie that it'll feel a little weird because you can tell it's just a puppet or, or maybe not? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campion Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.